Hello guys, today I'm going to bring you guys the second installation in the HTML series. Sorry, I haven't uploaded it in a while, I kind of forgot about it, uh, but I will now be actively uploading to it. So today we're going to be floating an image, and this is very useful because in any website you have in HTML, if you try to put text right next to an image without floating it, you're going to have problems, and I'm going to show you what I mean. So I'm going to create paragraph tags, and uh, just to clear things up, I have already created my HTML file, and I have put the basics in there to clear up some confusion. So in between my paragraph tags is where I'm going to put my text in my image. So I'm going to put image src equals, and that is a picture of the Milky Way you'll see in a second. And right here I'm going to put this is <clears throat> the Milky Way galaxy. Okay. So now if we go ahead and save that and open it, as you can see, it has our image right here, and our text is right here, but it's all the way at the bottom of the image, and it's not at the top, and there's a whole bunch of wasted space right above the text, all the way up to the top of the image. This is because the site thinks that the milk, this is the Milky Way Galaxy text, is the same height as the image, but it's not, and this is why we're going to need to float it. So to float things, we're going to need to use CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheets. Now, since we're not using that much, I'm not going to create a new file.css and uh, reference it in there and all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to use some simple style tags. So not a lot of people know you can do this, but in the head section of your website uh, in HTML, you can define style tags. And in between these style tags, you can put CSS that can be referenced in the website. So right here, I'm going to put dot float left, and I'll explain this a little bit. So all CSS classes are defined uh, by a dot in front of it. That basically tells it, okay, you're a CSS class, and it tells it what to do. And all parameters are between these curly braces. So in here, I'm going to put float left, okay, because I want it to float on the left. And that is all I need to put for now. Uh, yeah, that's good. Now, we've created our class, but we're not calling it yet. So this is where our um, image tag comes in. We're going to put a class parameter as well as the source one. Uh, you can put it begin, uh, or sorry, uh, in front of or after the SRC tag. And in here, we're going to put float left. Now, notice how in here, we don't have the period in front, and over here we do. That is because when we are calling a class, we do not need to put the period in front. We just put the class name. This is just showing that it's defining a class. So once we've got that and we go ahead and refresh, you will see that the text is at the top instead of the bottom. And anything you type will go along the side of the picture, which is good. Now the only other thing is if you can see, our text is extremely close to the image. Like, like extremely close like you can barely read the t because to do oh, sorry for that uh, what we're going to need to do to separate the content from the image is we're going to use something called margins so margin is spelled the same way as it, it sounds like that and we're going to put i'm just going to put this for now okay so all of these numbers um, are in a sequential order, and you have to do it in that order. So what it is, is top, right, bottom, left. So that's the order of the numbers. So top, right, bottom, left. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put any margin at the top, so I'm gonna leave that zero. At the right, though, which is right here, I am going to put a margin, so I'm gonna put a 10 pixel margin. And at the bottom, I'm gonna put a 10 pixel margin. So now if we go ahead and refresh, you will see that, um, hold on, okay, I did the wrong one, okay, so there we go. So now that you will see is that now that we've created this margin, we've got now got 10 pixels of space between the image and the text. Now we can change this, we can make it, uh, I don't know, 50 pixels on the bottom and the right. And it'll make it go all the way over here. But I'm just going to leave it at 10. Uh, 10 is a pretty good number. Um, anything more than 10. It really depends on what you want to do. 
but I think 10 is good for me. So now that we have it over here, uh, we have our text, and I'm just going to copy and paste this to show you guys um, a whole bunch of times. Just to show you guys that it does go around the image. So as you can see, it lines up with the image. It doesn't go on the other side of it or mess around with the formatting. It goes with it, and if you do it enough, it will go underneath the image as well. Now let's say we wanted to create a border around the image. What we're going to do is we're going to put border one uh, two pixels solid uh, hashtag um, let's make it black so zero zero zero. Now right here is a hexadecimal number, so you can put zero 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 for black, but really all you really need is the RGB because you're not setting any other things for basic color. So I'm just going to leave it at the three zeros. And if we go ahead and do that, we will see a two pixel border around the image. Now, since the, the image is black, you can't really see a border. So I'm actually going to change this to FFF. So as you can see, we have a little uh, white border is not a very good example either. Okay. Okay, a red border, you can see. So there we go. So now we have a little red border around our image. <clears throat> so this is right around the image. Like it's basically like a picture frame. Let's say we wanted to separate the image a little bit from the border. We can do that using something called padding. So let's put padding, two pixels. Uh, yeah. Oh, I just forgot about that there. Okay. So now we have two pixels padding. There's two pixels between the border and the image. So you can experiment this with what you want. But that is basically how you create a border. Use padding, use margins, and wrap text around an image. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please leave a like below. Comments, any questions or comments you have on the video, and subscribe. Tomorrow I will be bringing you guys a PHP video. Um, and I've got a lot of requests to do the uh, How to Create a Virtual World series. So I may continue with that. Uh, a lot of people have been asking how to customize the avatar, which is pretty important if you want to make a world. So I will be covering that probably on the weekend. So, uh, yeah, so I'll be bringing you guys our PHP video tomorrow, and until then, peace.